Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weigh-in video. I want to check in, give you guys results of this week's weigh-in, talk about how my week went with my goals. I did um, edit my goals just a little bit just to um, reflect basically what um, my, you know, kind of my overall goals are. So I didn't, I didn't really think about it until I actually filmed my, you know, tips for Weight Watchers success. Speaking of which, like with that back to kind of back to basic series, I'm going to be filming this weekend um, my basic kitchen essentials. So things that I highly recommend um, for you to be successful um, and just, you know, just things that I have used um, quite often and things that I use like, like I have to have, like they are must haves. So I thought I would film that video and just kind of give you guys some options. Um, so you guys know my goals for the month of January, just a quick recap. I had a daily water goal. So my goal is to drink four of my big things of water here. They hold um, 32 ounces, I believe, or 30 ounces, they may be 30 ounces. Um, but my goal is to drink four of these a day. I have this exact same cup at work, so that way I can track it pretty easily. Um, to close my rings on my Apple Watch, 20 days out of the 31 days in the month to be active at least 30 minutes 20 days so that's what i have my activity goal set on my watch is at 30 minutes then that way i can make sure i'm hitting that 30 minute goal in the days that i do my activity the final goal the fourth goal was to hit a daily protein of 120 plus grams however i told you guys in that back to the basics video that I really wanted to go back to simple tracking, that I was feeling really confused and just really overwhelmed, really not really confused as much as just super overwhelmed by the double tracking, which I had done before very successfully in the past. However, I think just being off track for so long and just not being in a really good mindset for so long that I, just decided that it was time to go back to just simple tracking and eventually I think I will definitely go back to tracking my calories and macros it's just right now I don't want to so that goal of 120 plus grams I've changed that to just say try to eat kind of a, um, a substantial amount of protein per meal or just protein at each meal because it is really easy to um, not have your protein be centric in your meals so I have a pretty good idea what you know most things are as far as um, grams of protein in you know like a serving of something. I mean you can look at packages of this package stuff, but when you're talking like meat and stuff, you can look that up rather quickly. Um, the only things that are a little bit harder to figure out in my head are like recipes and stuff. So I just kind of, if I have time, I create the. Um, a recipe in the Lose It app just to try to see if, um, you know, it's just to see what it is. So I have an idea. Um, if not, I just kind of ballpark it. But really, it's just trying to make protein very centric in my meal. So that's kind of what I changed my last goal to. Um, so, how did I do this week as far as my calendar? So, if you see an X on the calendar, that means I did all four of my goals. And this month, like I said, I'm just doing. 20 days of closing my rings and 20 days of activities as far as I like, have an actual like, you know, number. So I'm actually kind of tracking those up there. Although I've realized I don't really need to because if I hit all four of my stuff, well, I guess there's times that I'm, I'm never gonna close my rings without doing my activity. So I guess I could do my activity without closing my rings. So yeah, that's true. I was thinking I could just count the X's, but anyway, there may be some months where I say that I want to X out so many days in the month. Um, so I'm just, you know, those are some of my goals I'm thinking of. Um, I'm trying to start thinking of February right now so I can um, kind of plan ahead. So I'm not doing it at the last minute like I did this year, this month. Um, anyway, so from last, so my weigh-in days are on Wednesdays. So from last Wednesday when I weighed in um, to this last Wednesday, so I'm filming this on Friday. Um, to this last Wednesday, I had a full day on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So did all of my goals on those days. On Sunday, I did everything but the protein. 
Um, Monday and Tuesday, I also did my X's. And then Wednesday, I did not do my rings or my activity on the my weigh-in day. So I did really good. So like five out of the seven days, I did all four of my goals. Um, one of the things that I am struggling with this week, that is sleep. Definitely is sleep. I was doing so good the first week of January. And of course, those weeks in December when I was off of work, I did really, really well with sleep. And I did really well that first week in January as well. But this week, I am struggling. I am just struggling with falling asleep. I am struggling with staying asleep. Um, last night was a little different. I was woken up. I'll tell you guys about that here in a second. But I'm having, and, I, and I'm really good about not doing any caffeine like later, like when I've started noticing these kind of trends. In the past, caffeine's never really affected me much. But I, when I notice that I'm having these kind of issues, I do tend to stay away from the caffeine. Um, we're pretty much at like prior to like, you know, um, I get off work, you know, type of thing. I may have like a diet soda or something like that, you know, some, sometime in my work day. But then if I'm, when I'm going through this kind of trend, like at dinner, I'll just have water. I won't have a soda or anything. Um, so it's, I don't know what it is. Like I just cannot fall asleep. And so I'll read, I'll take my book and I'll read for a little bit. And usually that helps me kind of lull me into sleep, but then I'm waking up again. And I don't know, I know that I've been reading a lot that, I've been reading actually a lot about sleep because I wanted, I'm really thinking of making that one of my February goals. Yes, I keep starting and stopping this video because I keep sneezing. <laughs> my allergies are out of control right now. Um, I'm thinking about making sleep one of my February goals, so I'm trying to do a little bit of research on it. Um, so when I talk about my February goals, I can tell you why that's gonna be important to me. So one of the things that I am finding is that, um, you know, they talk about um, limit, like any, maybe limit any activity right before bed or add activity right before bed, just depending on what your lifestyle is like. Like some people, their body does really well if they do activity right before bed. Some people, their body is the opposite effect. I have no idea how my body would be because I, I, can, I don't know if I could ever do activity later in the day like for me you guys know i have the most energy in the morning and so that's when i like to do my my um, workouts but lately i have not had any energy at all i'm just like it is and a bit like i said this last week though too this whole week i just have not been sleeping well and so that's where my energy this week last week i don't know why i didn't have any energy because i slept really well but i still just felt zapped like by the end of the night so, um, so I really want to try to figure out the sleep thing. Like I said, I don't think it's the caffeine. I, I guess, oh, that's what I was talking about. I had read that as you get older, you, your body needs less sleep for one thing and your body doesn't, um, what was I reading? What is that called? Melatonin. Your body doesn't produce as much melatonin as it does, did when you were younger. And that's why people take the like melatonin supplements, which I always wondered why people took those. Like I had, I had no idea. Like I, I know people would take them and they just say it helps them sleep, but I didn't know that it was a natural thing that your body created. And that as you get older, your body doesn't create as much of it. So I don't know, maybe I'll look into something like that. If you guys know anything about that, let me know. That would be um, helpful if you guys um, take it. Um, how do you take it? Like, how do you know how much to take? I mean, I don't know anything about it. I've seen it in like Walmart in the vitamin aisle, so I don't know. Um, but I'd be curious, any kind of, um, any, any insight on that. I've even been drinking like, you know, chamomile tea and like my sleepy time tea and my calming tea, and that is just not even doing it. Um, so it's just, like I said, it's like what, and I would think that once I fell asleep, I don't know why I'm waking up and I wear my watch to bed. Um, so I can like track my sleep patterns and it does say typically in a night, in a whole like night sleep, I'm typically awake like 56 minutes. So it does show like all those times that I'm waking up and I'm going into like a deep sleep. Like you, like I have not seen anything more than 44 minutes which it looks like that's like not abnormal for my age. So I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, today I'm exhausted though because of my dog. Um, last night he, I woke up around, I don't know what woke me up. I think he did because he kept jumping up and down off the bed over my husband and then getting a drink of water. I could hear him because we have a water bowl in our bedroom. I could hear him down there getting water. 
And so then he would jump back up in a bit. And then I just, I rolled over and I felt him just like trembling. Like he does, like if he hears like fireworks and things like that, like he was just trembling. And so I, and then he kept getting down getting water. So then I figured, okay, he must have an upset stomach because why else would he be like, you know, I mean, I, cause they can't tell us what's wrong, obviously. So I knew something was wrong and the amount of water he was drinking. I know that dogs, if their stomachs are upset, they'll drink a bunch of water to try to make themselves, you know, get rid of it, whatever's upset in their stomach. So I kept trying to get him off of the bed cause I didn't want him to get sick on the bed because he did that like a month ago. <laughs> and so I didn't want him to do that when my husband had to be up for work. So I try to keep trying to coax him off of the bed Finally, I was just so exhausted. This was like right at 12, like almost straight up 12 o'clock. I felt like though I had been asleep for a long time. So obviously between 9.30 when I fell asleep and 12 o'clock, I slept really well. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so he finally jumped down about, I don't know, 1245 ish or so and he threw up and so I got up and I cleaned that up and then he jumped back into bed and he stopped shaking and he passed out and went to sleep. I was wide awake. So I got my book out. At first I tried to go to sleep and I could not like it was I just I just couldn't. So I got my book out was reading from about one. I laid there for about 15 minutes just trying to um you know just trying to get um try to go to sleep and I couldn't. And so then I um, got my book out and I read and I fell asleep like 10, 15 minutes later. So anyway, oh, I didn't tell you my weigh-in. So this week I maintained. I was exactly the same to the ounce this week. So that was really good. I don't know why, honestly, because I had such a good week. I that's It's so frustrating when our bodies like don't do what we wanted to do, but you guys, we have, I mean, it is just, you know, it, it's okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to come down hard on myself because, I mean, this is like proof that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And my foods, I mean, I felt like I did really good with my meal choices. And um, like I said, this is proof that I'm doing the work. And if the scale doesn't want to, you know, doesn't want to show that, that's okay. That's why I did like the monthly video you know where i could you know where i could see where i was beginning of january i'll do it again in february um i really should do measurements but i can kind of tell like i'm not losing like inches like you can usually tell like with your clothes and stuff and i'm not but um it's still it i mean it's a maintain i lost like two what was it 2.6 last week so definitely like last week was a good week so maintaining this week i'm very happy with that very proud of myself for how well i did with my goals and it can only get better from here. So anyway, here's hoping I can get some sleep this next week. Um, yeah, like I said, any help you can give. I mean, like, what do you guys know about that melatonin? I'm just really curious about that. Or are there any other sleep supplements that you take? I actually have some stuff coming um, through that brand I talked about during my What I Eat Innovate Day video, that Motivate. I don't know why, you guys, I was calling it Motive 8 because that's what I meant. And somebody told me like, oh, it's pronounced motivate. My gosh, that totally makes sense. Um, but they're sending me some sleep stuff. So I don't know what's in it. It's just, I mean, all of their stuff is like, it's supposed to be all like all natural stuff. So we'll see. But anyway, I am curious, like what you guys do to make sure you sleep. I mean, like I said, I've turned off the caffeine. I usually read before bed. I turn off all my screens and stuff at least 30 minutes before bed and I just read. So it's like, I don't know what else I can do to like turn off my mind. I have no idea. So anything you guys, um, any kind of sleep advice you can give, that would be greatly appreciated. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here and get ready for work. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be grocery haul. Bye guys. Music